a what is opening this week brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. A number of films are opening. We'll talk about a couple of them on Thursday. We got one in particular we're going to talk about today. So, uh, Ashley, what's up? First up, we're talking about the new Coen Brothers movie, Hail Caesar. The film stars George Clooney, Josh Brolin, Scarlett Johansson, and others, <laughs> and is described like this. In the early 1950s, Eddie Mannix is busy at work trying to solve all the problems of the actors and filmmakers at Capitol Pictures. His latest assignments involve a disgruntled director, a singing cowboy, a beautiful swimmer, and a handsome dancer. As if all this wasn't enough, Mannix faces his biggest challenge when Baird Whitlock gets kidnapped right. while in costume for the swords and scale epic Hail Caesar. If the studio doesn't pay 100000 it's the end of the line for the movie star. Mark, are you looking forward to Hail Caesar? I am looking forward to Hail Caesar, and I'm especially looking forward to the theater experience I'm going to get when I see it where Arclight Cinemas tonight. tonight. <laughs> Can't wait. They don't do the intro during the press meeting. No, they don't. So no, they kind don't of no yeah. They're all too nervous to talk in front of us. But uh, <laughs> I do have some reservations about this movie, not because the talent involved behind Behind the camera or writing this movie it's a coen brothers flick they always deliver most of the time what scares me a little bit and i love the cast i love josh brolin scarlett johansson jonah hill all those great people george clooney huge fan of the guy i'm not crazy about him in comedies i'm just not and i'm the furthest thing from a comedy snob i just think that he mean mugs sometimes for the camera and he when he's in a movie whether it's leatherheads or whether it's like monuments men it just when he's doing comedy it just doesn't work for me as much as when he's doing drama so i have some reservations about that but with everybody involved and the coen brothers doing this movie you got to think it's at least going to be really good so the Coen brothers always deliver most of the time. Is that like 60% of the time because it works every time? as I was saying that, I remembered Burn After Reading. Uh, okay. uh, well, oh, or Intolerable Cruelty was the one yeah. I didn't like. Yeah. Oh, the one with, ah, okay, with yeah. Hanks? <clears throat> No, that's no, no, the, no, no, the, the Lady Killers. Killers. The lady killers. Lady, I really yeah. like Lady yeah. Killers, yeah. by the way. No, Intolerable yeah. Cruelty. Yeah, that was like yeah the one he did with uh, Catherine yeah. Zeta-Jones, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's true. That was just uh, uneven. They always deliver most of the time. They were pretty spies. I... I'm I'm dying to see this movie. Like I'm, it's not my favorite trailer of the year, but but so far 2016 and this I'm gonna I cannot believe that another moment is gonna beat this. My favorite moment in a trailer 2016 so far was, were that it was so simple. Were that it was so oh, simple. So good. That with uh, Ray Fiennes. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. that scene kills me every time I watch that trailer. Uh, yeah, we're all gonna go see it tonight. I am super stoked about this. I do like uh, George Clooney. Uh, doing comedy as well. He hasn't hit it out of park every time. A brother where are but like, oh, another brother, brother, brother I thought film. he killed it sure, in that as sure, well. Yeah. So, I mean, so, and the cast is great. Ray Fiennes being in there, I think is going to just murder this. And I think this is going to be good. I'm, I'm actually not the biggest Josh Brolin fan, but I think this role looks awesome for him. I think he's going to do really well in this movie. So, I'm really stoked about it. It's in my top five uh, most anticipated for the year. I can't, this looks like classic Coen Brothers stuff. The, like the comedy, the cast, like everything about this movie, like you could just watch this trailer and know that the Coen brothers did it just from the little exchanges yep. that we've seen so far and every person that you guys have mentioned has had a scene in the trailer yep. that sticks out whether it be Jonah Hill with that with that moment with Johansson you know <laughs> and like Clooney Clooney looks like he's overcooking it but it kind of looks like he's supposed to be overcooking yeah. it so everything that they have involved and they've done so far in these trailers and I still don't really know too much about the movie and I don't want to know right. about it because there's no way you can give away all of a Coen Brothers movie in a trailer, it's right. kind of impossible to do. So I am, I cannot wait for this movie, and I, I, I want this show to be over so it gets closer to <laughs> the movie. Now, I'm not seeing it tonight. I'm seeing another film called Director's Cut, the Penn Jillette, uh, Adam Rifkin film. But Ooh. I'm seeing Hail Caesar with Holly this Friday. Why? Because we are Coen Brothers fanatics, Raising Arizona. All yep. the, I mean, every single, this reminds me of Barton Fink yep. meets Hudsucker Proxy. It's like, this is in their wheelhouse. This is a perfect Coen Brothers type of a film. The, every trailer I've seen is perfect. And it's just, I cannot wait to see this. I mean, the Coen Brothers, when they're in their 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 realm, and this is their realm. Lebowski, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lebowski. This is, I cannot wait to see this. It is really, it really is my most anticipated film of this year as far as just a regular release, not some kind of event film right. like superhero film, just a regular film. I cannot believe that the Coen brothers made this film. I, it's going to be magic. That's what I'm hoping. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.